and welcome back. It's a bit different this time for you. Um, I'm on holiday in Cornwall. I stayed at a nice little place called Hale, and uh, we're headed across the coast to a place called uh, Wheel Trevevis. I think that's the right pronunciation of it. I hope I'm right. If not, correct me in the comments. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've got an abandoned tin mine down here. So we're going to head down this abandoned coastal path now and uh, see if we can find it. It's nice to be out on tour. Like I said, uh, Katie and Kieran haven't fancied this one. Uh, I think there's a bit of climbing going to be involved to get down to the actual mine itself and the engine house. So uh, they've uh, gone to the pub for lunch. I'll be meeting them shortly. So unfortunately, I've got no history at all on this place, guys. Um, what I know is it's called Wheel True Abas Mine. It was uh, opened in 1834 and closed in 1846. Got some remnants of something here. I did read earlier that there was uh, some kind of military installation here for the, in World War II. Essentially, the remnants of it. We know this area well. I always say, just uh, leave a comment below. If you know what it was, let me know. Hey, oh. would appear that we've arrived. Look at that engine house down there with the chimney still standing. Can't quite see this one yet, so let's, uh, let's have a look over the brow of this cliff and see what we've got. Oh wow, there we go. There we go. I managed to negotiate my way down that cliff, or well, that cliff or a hill really, but uh, if we have a look up there, look, a bit of climbing involved, not too difficult. But, uh, getting back up might be a bit more difficult, but uh, we'll deal with that in a bit. But for now, just got to look at this place. Close to the cliff edge here. So I'll uh, manage it. Again, a beautiful structure, not the type you used to see me explore, but like I said, I'm on my holidays. So, time for something different. I'm going to say that that down there is probably the actual mine shaft itself going out across the sea. It's been flooded, so. Uh, I've seen a video of some guy sailing into there and exploring it. I don't know how deep it goes, but we shan't go in there today. It appears to be a little bit of a cave there. What that's all about. Quick look in here first. Yeah, blocked. This is the engine house anyway. Do 
It's a very beautiful view across the bay. Not sure what that town is over there. What? Oh, yes. What have we got here? I didn't see this in any of the uh, pictures and videos that I saw of this place. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Do you really think we can leave a hole like this and explore? I think we're gonna have to go in there as far as we can get, don't we? Right, time to switch to the GoPro. Right, so we are filming. No idea how well this camera's going to perform, do you? I've never used it in low light before. I'm going to get wet feet, I know that much. I need to see where this tunnel comes out, if it comes out. It's very low in here. Got a walking pole. Make sure there's no sudden drops. A new one for sure. Getting a bit deep, you know. I've only going so far because uh, I'm not wearing mullies. Can you bring them with me? Space in the looks of it. Oh, well, you can see that, guys. But... A proper winding one, this is. I have no idea what this tunnel's for, or was for. I know it's that part of the mine. The mine itself went through the sea. But we can't leave this unexplored, can we? It keeps winding and winding. It's nice to get a bit of straight line. See how long it is. Oh, what about here? Hello. Check the ground. Constantly check the ground. I know, dear. I've got some workings there by the looks of it. Oh, what have we 
が、その、Tunnels up in that direction, but that's blocked. Me getting down there. Oh god, that looks really deep. Certainly is. Look at that. Now that is a mine shaft. I wasn't expecting that. Because look where the water's dripped through and made it get believe it a copper rust. I'm going to get my main torch out now, I think, and try and light this up a bit better. Look how deep that is. I don't know if you can see that on there very well. That is really deep. No access that way. Not too passable that way, although these beams look a bit... Uh... What torch doing? <laughs> Let me just see all these patterns down here. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get some good stills down here for you guys, as always. No, I'm not wimping out. I'm just not risking that. One little slip, and it's all over. So I've come as far as I want to come, I think. It's been an amazing explore. I would love to know what's down there, though. But, uh, right, let's get some stills. So, I know I didn't need the walking pole going back now it wasn't that deep the water really so I could use my main torch coming so hopefully this has lit things up a lot better hopefully you can see that on the camera I don't think them stills have come out amazing to be honest with you I've had to use my iPhone I didn't want to bring my Canon down here today iPhone is waterproof this is waterproof so hopefully we'll get some uh, good shots coming back over the edge so you can see probably more close to the edge. Well, again, a little different to the uh, patterns we get in the railway tunnels. We don't normally see copper. It looks like we've got iron as well, calcite. Some beautiful deposits. I'm still actually trying my new torch out. Night Searcher 3500. I didn't bring my tripod, my main one. I didn't think I'd uh, have room in this tunnel to carry it. I'll be back. Towards the entrance now. Let's see that. There you go, it's getting proper low again.
I didn't bring my tripod. <laughs> Not fitted. And out. There we go. Wheel to a lass. Um, not the main one, I don't think, but there was a pretty deep shaft down there, as you saw. Uh, it was quite low in there. Couldn't take my main tri tripod. Like I said, I always say this. I don't know how well my stills will come out. I had to use my iPhone. Um, but a uh, nice little addition to the holiday this week. It's been a great week. Uh, we're coming back tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more tunnel explorers coming out, railways and the like. Um, that's new torch. It's fantastic. It's almost too bright for down there. But uh, it's going to bring a whole new dimension. Let's have a railway tunnel or a culvert, guys. So like I say, stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and we'll see you on the next one.